There's a navy boat. So I'm heading into Littleton proper to get some drinking water. Which the navy is supplying. Big tanks. So this is Littleton. Littleton tunnel on the left is closed to everyone but residents. Lots of work going on. Buildings and roofs. I was amazed to see the buses here as well. I thought doing a voiceover would be a hell of a lot easier than typing in shitloads of comments. Mm. That building there, the hexagonal one, is a new fish restaurant that's just opened. And it's going, it's fine. The liquor store on the left here, this little one's open as well, of course. Because all the pubs, like this one here on the left, and this one here on the left, and this one here on the left, are all closed now, destroyed. And that one there, really destroyed as a cafe, it used to be anyway. Not sure what it's been for the last few while. On the right. Little crew, local cruise operator. All these old, classic old buildings. Just ruined, it's such a shame. Red stickers on all four corners. Such beautiful old buildings. It's a shame that they're the ones that really get, got hit the worst, you know. That pub on the right, on the straight of us there. Also shut, of course. Lots of pubs, you'll notice. Red stickers everywhere, which mean the place is uninhabitable. Man, that's dramatic. Just crazy. So again, more classic, classic old buildings. This one here in front of us was the old library. I don't know what it's been in recent years, but it used to be the library. And on the right, this is really lovely, on the right here is Little Main School, and every Saturday morning they have a farmer's market where people come and sell their locally grown produce, organic, everything like that. You have to be a local to actually sell stuff there. And uh, instead of the usual market, they have a get-together. There are places there giving away you know, sandwiches and drinks, and people there having a sing-song, a little concert going on in the blue tent. It's just lovely, you know, the whole community just coming together and helping each other out. A bit of light relief in these crazy times. Another problem is a um, number of really old churches around Littleton. Of course, old buildings, they took a big hit like this one. This one. And on the lawn, You'll see just a second here, a couple of little dome tents. There you go. People camping out because the house is ruined. And these tanks on the right here are the water supply put on by the Navy. The guys running it there in the high-vis jackets were just such funny guys, providing such excellent relief, you know. Relax, have a laugh. Such good guys. And this guy comes over. How are you, man? Huh? Yeah, 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 video camera. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, as long as you can mount it on, on something. Solid. Yeah, something solid, like a helmet or... Okay, you can... Where do you actually get those Um, there are plenty of places in town that sell them. Turns out he's a pig hunter and he's asking about the GoPro and whether it could be used for pig hunting. Look at the sign there, please use sanitizer. They just didn't think of it, of course, but they sanitize everybody's hands before they touch the taps, so you don't spread... I said it's such a good job. Yet another old church. Yeah, these are some of the oldest buildings in Littleton. Over a hundred years old, and for New Zealand, that's ancient. You'll see a lot of places. Excuse me, a lot of places like this, slips that have, well, slipped and been cleaned up, but a lot of the slips haven't been cleaned up. You'll see, you know, 
stuff splitting on the roads all over. I was looking at these little houses here, all these red stickers in them. Then I noticed this one here with a sort of rust coloured roof, with a real estate sign with sold written across it, and a red sticker on the door. Somebody sold at just the right time. Check out the old Bedford fire truck. I love it. It's classic, you know, still in use because it's working fine, so keep using it. Ambulance and John. Man, but they were busy. And these are uh, three restaurants on the right. On the left here, this one in front of us here, and the yellow one on the other side there is a volcano. Check it out, everyone just, you know, left. Their, their business is as is. They still have the sign out, see on the left there? The sign's still out. But the volcano there on the left, that's uh, been a long going. Littleton restaurant. Bit of many meals there, a friend used to work there. See the Navy guy bending over and picking something up? Have a look, see if you can see what it is. Yeah. Hey fellas. Thanks, a bit suspect. Take him out. Not something I'd expect Navy to see. So everything's screwed down here, is it? But it's a hash pipe. Uh, can I the bike in here? And the army guy, look at this army guy, looks just like Prince Charlie. Up you. <laughs> this really broken blue place here on the left fish and chip shop that's been there for as long as I've been alive anyway but in the middle of this road of utter desolation is the dairy and they're fine and they're open now we're doing a brisk trade and unlike some places in town you know the prices are still what they normally should be they haven't upped the prices which I think is just fantastic Again, it's that wonderful community spirit. I really love it. And that place there really smelled of fish, because it was a fish shop. All the fish, all the stock's still in there, just going bad. Little in the service centre. Not much servicing going on there right now. This is the Harbour Light Theatre. Well, it used to be the movie theatre, and they turned it into a performance venue. It was a private home for a while, then it became a performance venue. Many, many great performances in there, and it's completely screwed. It's such a shame. Again, it's a classic old building, as well as a really good business run by good people, and it's, it's ruined. Another good business is the fish and chip shop. Best fish and chips. Yes, the best fish and chips, and good Chinese too, lovely people. the coffee company was the coffee company they did the best coffees kind of sums it up that little sign just above the destruction oh look at the face the kid pulls as he goes past the camera yeah. <laughs> so that's the supermarket completely destroyed it's just opened another pub the steel girders down there are holding up the front of another pub from the first earthquake, the front was threatening to fall in. Now it's the only thing standing. The rest of it's fallen apart, but the front's still there. Alright. 20% off. Red stickers is unsafe. People just left their businesses as is, see all the lights and everything is still on. I can't imagine what it'd be like in some of these buildings here, you know, where it struck, it was bad enough at our house. Thumbs up for Charlie. It's bad enough at our house with windows breaking and some of the walls falling off and stuff, but far out. The, uh, the other performance, oh there's an aftershock. Another performance venue on the left there, the loons, that's gone. Red sticker, red sticker. And that's the old council buildings that just started up recently house, uh, housing the new Littleton radio station, Littleton's first radio station and now that's probably gone as well so yeah, just felt an aftershock just now as I'm talking we're getting quite a few of these some of them quite small like that one still shakes the house quite a lot but maybe a three on the scale 
Where'd this go? Now this here is so a sort of rest up on a corner just above the ocean and you can't really see but it's really sunk breaking up, it's sunk down sort of cracking away from the main part of the the land, you know, see here it's cracking so directly below that is a few hundred feet drop down to the ocean it wouldn't take much to set it off and these rocks on the right hand side are crumbling and falling and the left is cracking as well the path is all munted well, on the right hand side here, look at the boat it's been up on supports for so long. Speaking of support, here's my support crew, Darling Rainy. So the animals, of course, took off during the shake. They they hate it. They took off into the woods. So Rainy ran up into the trees next to the house, and she came out um, about a day or two after. Thanks for watching, folks.